Hi, this is Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to be talking about an ongoing, probably permanent, student question about what do you do when the slope is a fraction and you're finding the equation of a line using the point-slope formula. Well, we're about to discover that right now. There are two methods. I'm going to go over both. Here we go. The given point, because I've given them to you, the given slope is 2 thirds, the given point is 5 7. We're going to find the equation of the line, and we're going to use the point slope formula. So here's all this information. We're going to use what I call method A, and it's the first method. I ever learned. I found that it makes working with fractions much easier because it allows you to temporarily get rid of the fractions. So let's do this. y minus 7 equals 2 thirds the slope, times x minus 5. Okay, now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put parentheses around y minus 7, just like I have around x minus 5. And now, I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator of the fraction, 3. Because 2 thirds is a fraction, I'm going to change 3 to 3 over 1 because it's always easier to multiply a fraction by a fraction than by a whole number. But there's no reason to change 3 over here, because I don't have any fractions. That is method A. Now we're going to see why. Well, here's why. Here I have a fraction 3 over 1 multiplying the fraction 2 thirds, 2 over 3. The 3 matches the 3, and so we can cross-cancel with that truly large, much too large, um, line. I wish I had made that smaller, but I didn't, so oh well, we are going to continue. Now, back to normal. What would I normally do? Well, normally I would distribute the 3 and distribute the 2, but I'm going to write it that way first on both sides of the equation. 3 parentheses y minus 7 equals 2, because 2 over 1 is 2, 2 times x minus 5. This now is going to be quite easy up until the end. Over on the left, I distribute 3 into y, into y minus 7. Well, so I'll say 3 times y minus 3 times 7, which is 21. And then I'll say 2 times x minus 2 times 5, which will be minus 10. Look at that. Could anything be easier? Now I have to solve for y plus 21 plus 21. Negative 21 plus positive 21 is 0. So I'll have 3y plus 0 over on the left, and 
2x. This is 21 minus 10, which will be plus 11. 3y plus 0 is 3y equals 2x plus 11. And then I divide by 3, I divide by 3, I divide by 3. So the equation of the line in slope-intercept form, which I neglected to write in my instructions, is going to be y equals two-thirds x plus 11 thirds, where the slope is two-thirds and the y-intercept is 11 thirds. Okay, let's move on to method B. This method is shorter, but it might be more difficult. Y minus Y1 equals m times x minus x1. So this will be y minus 7 equals 2 thirds times x minus 5. This time, rather than multiply both sides by the denominator, I'm going to distribute 2 thirds in there. And I did plan to do that in one step, but I think I'll do it in two. So y minus 7 is going to equal, or does equal, two-thirds x minus five times two-thirds. This is what people find difficult. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to multiply a whole number by a fraction. I don't know what to do. Well, I'm going to do this by hand, and then I'm going to do it on the calculator so that you can take your choice. Y minus 7 equals 2 thirds X minus 5 over 1 times 2 over 3. Now to do this by hand, notice that there's no cross cancellation I can do. 3 will not go evenly into 5, and saying that 1 goes into 2, well, of course it does, but 1 is there more as a placeholder in the denominator to turn 5 into a fraction. So that would be kind of silly of me, so I'm not going to do it. Instead, I'm going to say y minus 7, or write y minus 7, equals 2 thirds x minus, we multiply the numerators together, 5 times 2 is 10, and we multiply the denominators together, 1 times 3 is 3. In fact, this might be a little more clear if I erase this and take an extra step and go ahead and make it very clear, we would say explicit, 
5 times 2 goes up here. And 1 times 3 goes down here. That is exactly my plan. Okay, y minus 7 equals 2 thirds x minus 10, 5 times 2 is 10, over 1 times 3 is 3, 10 thirds. No, I'm not going to change to a decimal. Okay, now, y minus 7 plus 7, because I want to isolate the y, minus 7 plus 7 is going to equal or does equal 2 thirds x minus 10 thirds I'm adding plus 7 here, so I have to add plus 7 here. More panic. Oh dear, now we're adding a whole number and a fraction. What are we going to do? Well, be patient. In the end, I'll come in with a calculator and show you that it's much faster to do this when you're using a scientific calculator. All right, notice 2 thirds x is not changing. But I'm going to put a plus sign here. Why can I do that? Because whenever you subtract in algebra, what you're really doing is you're adding a negative. So I'm really adding negative 10 thirds. And now I need to make 7 into a fraction that has 3 on the, in the denominator. This is what I mean. I happen to know that, and so do you, that 21 divided by 3 is 7. 7 equals 21 over 3. And that has the same denominator as negative 10 thirds. So I will add 21 over 3. And now I'm going to add these two fractions, which will not be hard. It won't be difficult because they have the same denominator y equals 2 thirds x plus negative 10 plus 21 over 3. So y equals 2 thirds x plus negative 11 over 3. And since positive times negative or plus times minus is minus, our final answer will be y equals 2 thirds x minus 11 thirds. If you were going to do this by hand, that's how you do it. There now. But we could put the calculator to use. Let me move this. Well, I could keep it there. Oh, there it is. It moved. Now, let me move this out of the way. Well, I just moved something. I don't think you can see it. 
and you can't see this, we have to be in here. So I need to make it a little smaller so it will fit in the recording area. Oh, come on there. Okay, now, now we're ready. Okay, I am going to go back here and multiply negative 5 times 2 thirds in the calculator. Negative 5 times 2 divided by 3. Now, I can make this more visible by doing this. Woo, that's big. Move it over here. Negative 5 times 2 thirds. And then hit enter. I'm going to get a decimal, I warn you, but ew, it's a repeating decimal. But never fear, there's a trick. If I click on the math button, notice that frac is highlighted, the one is highlighted. I can hit enter to accept frac, which means make this number into a proper fraction or into a reduced fraction. Tells me what it's going to do, then I hit enter. Negative 10 thirds. Okay, I'm gonna move this over here and notice that's precisely what we got. Negative 10 thirds, 2 thirds x, Minus 10 thirds right here. Which allowed us to skip this step. We were able to go from here directly to here. Now I add 7 to both sides which gives me this, negative 10 thirds, and then I add seven to it because I'm adding seven to both sides. Now, if, if you can remember that that minus is also a negative, then what we can do is do the same thing in the calculator. Okay, now here I've got, I need it brighter, I've got negative 10 thirds, that was the last answer I got. So I don't even need to type negative 10 thirds, all I have to do is click the plus sign and then 7, that's what I'm going to do. Plus Seven, because negative 10 thirds is already in the computer's memory. I hit enter. I'll get a decimal. I didn't get a decimal. Doggone. I get positive. I know it's positive because there is no negative sign in front of it. Positive 11 thirds. Which is... I didn't... Oh. Yes, yes, that should have been positive. I am dinky. That's positive. 21 minus 10 is positive 11. See, you can even catch your mistakes. But notice that over here, it was very easy to not make a mistake at all. 
I like this method better. This is the first method I ever learned, and it allows you to eliminate fractions for a while until the last step. So go ahead and watch this video. And when I get to negative 11 thirds, just remember that was a boo boo. And then you do this and try some other problems. Remember, you can backtrack videos as much as you want. And so you have a very good day and enjoy doing math.